I keep feeling something on me, Dante. I keep feeling something crawling on me. Well, cut the light on. So, I bunky cut the light on. And he go, ah! 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 I'm like, what the heck going on, man? He said, man, these things is crawling all on me. It's, it's things on me. Let's get to the story. So I get my, my bunky come in the cell. I usually sleep at the top, at the top bunk. And I usually put my stuff at the bottom if I don't got a celly. So the cell door ended up getting popped. And here comes my celly. You know, I look at him. He's looking at me. I hop down off the bunk. He turns, well, he's facing me now. And a guard um, closed the door. And um, he got to uncuff him. So I hop off the bunk, making sure ain't nobody I got beef with or somebody I'm going to have a problem with or we're going to have to handle that right then and right there. So, hold on, I got something on my shirt. So, you know, he cool or whatever the case may be. So I'm like, what's up? What's your name? He tell me, he tell me that his name is Joe. Um, Joe is a white boy. Um, he was cool. Joe was cool. Actually, Joe was like one of my coolest cellmates. And um, shout out to Joe. Wherever Joe, wherever you at, Joe, shout out to you. Joe was a real cool dude. Joe was in there for unpaid child support. Joe owed it dang near $230,000 in child support. Why? Joe had 10 kids out here that he was not taking care of his kids or his responsibilities. The judge basically told him, look, Either you going to pay or you going to jail. So Joe had to do, I think, what, eight months up in there for um, child support. So so he get in there. He telling me, like, yeah, my baby mama, um, she keep calling the police on me and talk about I'm not paying my child support. I got all these other kids. I mean, I ain't going to lie. I haven't paid child support because it's like every time I get a job, they always taking my money. And, you know, I can't live off of that. You know, if I'm making $20 an hour and I'm bringing home $1,000 checks, I'm only really bringing home $100 because child support is killing my checks. So what can I do? So and like I said, y'all, I don't, I don't, um, I don't judge people. Everybody got their situations. Everybody go through what they go through. You know, who am I to judge this man in his circumstances? I'm in there on my own circumstances, right? Doing, what, 2 to 10, right? So we just talk, we chilling, whatever, we, you know, whatever the case may be. So I jump back on top of my bunk. So I'm laying on top of my bunk, and I'm telling him the do's and don'ts, what to do in this cell, okay? You can do whatever you want to do outside of this cell, but in this cell, nah. It ain't happen. It, it ain't happening. That's out. So I say, you know, if you got to, you know, do a number two, let me know so I can leave out of here. If I got to drop a deuce in the toilet, I'll let you know so you can roll out too. If you pee, if you got to pee, get close to the toilet bowl and kind of like squat-ish so you don't have to be splashing. Well, you know what? That really didn't matter for me. Because I slept at the top bunk anyway. But you don't want to be getting off the bunk in the middle of the night and just pee all over the floor. So I told you, you know, when you pee, make sure you squat a little bit so you can really get in the toilet. Okay? Um, if you trying to get your funny business on, put up a white sheet and let me know, like, yo, let me hold down the cell for about five or ten minutes. And I'm going to roll out, you know, likewise with me. Um, we ain't, you can't. You can't be having company in here. This is our house. This is our home. You cannot have a, you cannot have guys coming in and out of this cell. If they want to come through, talk to them outside the cell, okay? Don't have nobody in our house because if something ends up missing, I'm holding you responsible for it, and whoever else that came in here took something from me, they definitely going to get handled. So to avoid all of that, nobody in the cell. Um, I'm not a selfish guy. If if you want something from me, like a um a pack of noodles or a honey bun or a pop or something, just ask me. Do not steal from me. If you want to use one of my CDs, 
Ask me. Do not steal from me. Just ask me. Nine times out of ten, I'm going to give it to you. Um, if I'm making a spread, you know, um, a pizza or something, a jailhouse cuisine, just, just you know, I'm not going to let you starve over there. Just, I'll give you something. I'll feed you. But don't be thinking every time I bust open this bag of chips or bust open this bag of honey butter that your hand going to be out. That's out. That ain't happening. You know, so I'm just breaking down the prison cell etiquette for him. And he like, yeah, I feel that. I feel that. Uh-huh. So I said, okay. And I said, oh, that's another thing. Make sure you make your bed up. Okay. We, I keep the cell clean. I keep, it's not spotless, but I keep it clean. Okay. We don't want to have no dirty cell. He's like, all right. I'm going to tell y'all something about uh, my man's here. Okay. So Joe was not a clean guy. Joe in fact, was a dirty guy. Joe didn't like to take showers. I would, I would, I would know that um, dealing with the next night of us gelling together. So I end up smelling the smell, and um, I'm like, "What is that smell?" I said, "Hey, hey, Joe, when the last time you got in the shower, bro?" He said, "Oh, uh." It's been about three days. I said, hey, check this out. Uh, make sure tomorrow you jump in the shower for me, all right? You got me? He said, yeah, yeah, I, I, I got you. I got you. I said, all right. I paid him. I rolled back over, tried to doze off and go to sleep. Went back to sleep. Um, Next day, um, I'm going to just fast forward today. It was, it's just regular jail stuff going on, you know. You go to breakfast, you get locked down, you get out, you got wreck time. Some people going to work, some some people going to school, some people just in the pot, just doing nothing. Some people going back to sleep, people fighting, all type. It's everything that's going on, right? So we're going to fast forward to 20 minutes before lockdown. I noticed that Joe has not gotten in the shower yet. So I approached him like, hey, Joe, you know we got about 20 minutes before lockdown. You going to go jump in the shower? He like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to jump in the shower. I'm going to jump in the shower. So me, I'm not going to play with you. I seen that he was over there playing cards. So I'm like, nah, he, nah, forget that. So I go upstairs. I go on his bunk, go through his personal, grab his towel and his dry towel and his bar of soap. And I go, I get it and I go down there. Now I know some of y'all talk about, man, why would you go through his stuff? Because I can because I did, because there was go there was no retaliation that was going to come with that. See, when you locked up, you know who you can do that to and who you can't do that to, right? No, I wouldn't have done that to a KB, right? KB probably would have cracked my head wide open. See, when see, I let me tell y'all something. I keep it real, funky, and raw with y'all. You know, you got to play chess up in there. No, you no, I couldn't go to a KB. And if y'all don't know who KB is, y'all make sure y'all go check out the video. Um, called the scariest inmate for a video. That's KB. If y'all want to go check that out. So, you know, I go down there. I'm like, yo, here you go, here you go. Uh, go hit that shower. He like, hey, bro, come on, man, don't do that to me in front of everybody. I'm saying, dude, what? You gotta go get in the shower, bro. Come on, let's go. So they like, dudes looking at him and looking at me crazy, like. Oh, dang, D on one, D, D on one. So you hear a little snickering and you know, little jokes and stuff. So he get up, he like stand up to get his stuff to go to the shower. This dude that didn't like me was like, oh, are you really going, you going to listen to him? Like, like you his child or something? You get guys in there that love instigating. You got guys in there. That, that that like to see fights happen. You got guys in there that that got so much time that they want entertainment and they want they want to prison off of you. They want to jail off of you. They want you to be their source of entertainment, right? But I know the games. I remember this one time I came in this pod and they called this the gladiator pod where you have to fight. You have to fight somebody. And they usually try to match you up with somebody your size, right? So I came up in this pot. I know th this is a different part of a story right here, but I'm going to give it to y'all anyway. Y'all get kind of two stories in one. So I come in this pot, the gladiator pot, 
And they like, oh, we got one. Yo, yo, G, G, we got one. So G is this guy. Um, I, he, he's a, a GD from Chicago. He was a GD from Chicago, and they called him G. G was about my size. He was about 5'10", maybe 200. But he was slim with it, like 200, maybe 190-ish. You know, and I came in, they were like, oh, G, you got one. We got one. You, you got one, G. So um, when I go in there, they like, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, won't you head to the back? You, won't you head to the back? You about to do a check-in. I'm like, check, what's, what is that? They said, man, you got to go fight. I'm like, F fight who? So I, I, I've noticed it ain't nothing but a whole bunch of bozos and clowns in here. I'm like, man, I ain't about to fight nobody up in here. Man, y'all better. Just... And it wasn't that because I was scared. It's like, why do I have to do what you dudes say? Why do I have to be y'all entertainment? Like, come on, man. They like, no, man, you got to, man. This is how we get down up in here. So my instincts told me to take off on this dude right here. Just take off on him and get it out the way. But I noticed he had about 10 guys standing behind him, and they would have mashed me out. So usually if I had some dudes in a pod with me that was rocking with me, I would I would have took off on them, and it would have just been what it was, you know. At least I would have had some people to have my back on that. But whatever the case may be, so I head to the back. Um, here go G. G, he popped out. He, You could tell that he didn't really want to fight, but he had to fight, you know. Like he didn't want to. You can tell when somebody really don't want to fight because, you know, they basically doing all this and, and kind of pacing back and forth and not really want to get to it. So, you know, this is just prison politics. And I just I just take off on the meeting. Pop, 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 pop. Right? So he kind of boiled up like this. And I'm like, mm, 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 mm. Right? And they're like, man, G, you better try to fight back. G couldn't fight. G and, and listen, no disrespect to the GDs, but and shout out to G, right? Because I don't know how G was out in the street. I don't even know if he was a, a real game banger. I don't know, okay? But shout out to G. So he he trying to fight back like this, you know, when you got your head down like this and you like trying to throw punches like that's what he was doing. But I'm on top of a bam, bam, bam. Bam! Y'all hit that like button. So I'm hitting until like, man, G, you better fight back, man. So I fight like a girl. So I'm, I'm boom, boom, boom. I'm like, you had enough? You had enough? Now I'm going to tell y'all what my tactic usually is. My tactic usually, usually will be this. If I got to fight a way bigger dude than me, I know um, I can't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a way bigger guy than me because all it takes is one Hail Mary. So my my motto is get in close up on the big guy. Boop up, bam. Try to hit him right here, right here, right here. Like here's the ear, or here's the jaw. Try to hit him as hard as you can because I might can knock him out. But if I can't, I'm jumping up top, putting you in that chokehold, and you going to bed. I'm putting dudes to bed instantly. But G was not no threat, man. G couldn't fight at all, man. He was trying to windmill. And I said, you know what? Maybe I should put it, do an example on this guy. Maybe I should just put him on the bed. So, but then I thought about it and I said, nah, I, it ain't even that serious. So after I was got done punching him, I just pushed him off. So he like fell into fell into the wall. And they're like, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So then it was like, oh no, no, you gotta fight somebody else. You gotta fight somebody. See, here's the thing. When you new in these type of gladiator pods, they wanna see, they want, they, they want that entertainment. They want to see, uh, if, okay, you beat this guy. Now you got to fight this guy. And then now you got, no, 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 no. I'm not going to play them games. So another dude just come out all hype. Like, yeah, yeah, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. I take off on him. Bow, hit him in the mouth. Boop, bam, bam. But this guy, he he know how to fight. So, uh, bam, 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 bam. Instantly nodding him up. Boom, bam, right? He like, oh, yeah, I like that. I like that. Then I hit him with another. Boom. Right here, it's split them right here. Right here. It, you ever heard like paper rip like this? It sounds like this. When I hit them right there, boom, sounded just like that. Blood came out. He was like, oh, man, this dude, I like that. I like that. Come on, I like that. So I tried to take off on him again. 
he started throwing them back at me. So we literally going at it for about maybe about 15 seconds. 15 seconds is a long time in a fight. All you dudes is out there talking about, man, I would have been in there fight for five minutes. You ain't never been in a fight in your dang life. Talking about you you would have been in there getting it in for five minutes. Do you know how, how winded you would be? I don't give a damn. You got the best cardio in the universe. You ain't fighting for no five minutes and be getting it in. You're going to be gassed out. Now hit that like button. So we, we going at it. Bam, bam, bam. So then I'm tired. I see he getting gas, right? And then dudes just start breaking up because it was like a lot of blood coming from him leaking right there. And I was tagging a lot. Boom. Boom, boom. Right? He was tagging me too with, uh, uh. You know, I got hit in the ribs a couple times with that. Uh, uh. Y'all better stop playing, y'all. Talking about I can't fight. Hey, listen. I get it in, baby. I know how to do that shoulder roll, baby. Y'all better watch out. Hey, hey, don't play with me. I still got it. I still probably got maybe, listen. If I get into a fight right, I'm out of shape. If I get into a fight right now, I probably, I probably got a good 40 seconds in me. But in that 40 seconds, either you going to bed, if I can't knock you out in the first 15 seconds, I'm putting you to bed because I'm choking you out. Know that, right? So we end up doing what we doing. And, um... It get broke up. They like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He a real one. I know I'm a real. I don't need you to tell me I'm a real one. It ain't even about being real. It's that I know how to use these, and y'all ain't about to do nothing to me. And I'm gonna tell y'all what would have happened if I didn't fight back. No, that's a whole nother story. But uh, matter of fact, I tell y'all, if I would have walked in there and refused to fight, I would have been getting extorted, beat up. Um. I wouldn't be able to live in there. Every time I done seen the guy that came through this pod and he didn't want to fight. And every time he got his tray, they'd take it. It got to a point where even when this guy would pray, he was a Muslim, um, like a real Muslim guy. He he was like an Arabic Muslim guy. And when he would pray, he would do like this, like over his food, he would do like this. Oh, that's a, no, no, forget that. I'm going to, I'm going to save that one. Y'all remember, let me know to remind y'all about to make the video about the Muslim guy that um that, that got his revenge. Remember for me to make that video. So, you know, every time a Muslim guy would pray with his eyes closed, somebody would walk up to him, boom, boom, boom. Disrespectful. Why this man praying to his guy, you gonna walk up to him and punch on him and to take his food. Hey, dudes is treacherous. But let's get back to the story about my bunking. So, uh, I need to catch y'all up. So, he basically, he, so he's sitting down there. So, he stood up and he got his stuff. And I'm talking to dude like, man, chill out, man. He, he, he like, no, you treat him like he, like, like he your child or something. So, I'm look, I said, you want to step over here under the stairs? Like I told y'all, y'all know under the stair, under the staircase, it's a blind spot. Usually everybody go over there to get it on. He like, man, I'm just saying, man, I'm just saying, man, you talk to him like he your child. And I'm just like, okay, and you ain't the one sleeping in there with him, right? So dude get up and he go in there, he go, he get in the shower. Cool. So I'm 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 kind of hot right now. And I'm I'm looking at him and he like, man, you 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 wanna do something? Now he getting loud now, and everybody looking. He, I, I said, I said, it ain't. We can go over the head right now, right? So you know, dudes looking, and uh, some of my homeboys come over there, like, what's up? What's what's going on? I'm like, no, nah, ain't nothing going on. If I mean, if he want to get out for what, if 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 you if he want to get out, nobody jump in. We finna go over here by the staircase to get out. Dudes like, no, no, chill out, y'all. We just came off a of lockdown. No, I don't, no. No, we, no, y'all don't do that. Y'all going to sell them if y'all gonna do that. I'm like, all right, let's go upstairs. Let's go to the sale. So he like, man, man, I ain't, man, I ain't finna do nothing, man. Like, like I said, you pop off on me right here. Pop off on me right here. That, that right there, I knew right then and there, he didn't really want to fight. Because he want, he want me to crash out in front of everybody, in front of the guards and everybody. Because he know it's going to get broke up. See, a lot of dudes do that too. If, if, if you really about that fighting in jail, you ain't finna be sitting up there, 
um, drawing attention to yourself, drawing attention to the situation where you got the guards. You know the guards about to come in here. You know everybody gonna get locked down. So now he getting loud and all this and that. And I'm like, let's go to the cell. And he he steady popping off. This I already knew. He didn't really want it, but let's let's get past past all that. Hit that like button, y'all. So now, um, I go to my cell. I put on my shoes because I have my shower shoes on at this time. I put on my tennis shoes. Tighten the boys up, right? So I, I'm standing out there looking down at the tear. Like, I mean, is he going to come up or what? And then I seen what he really wanted on it. I ain't even think about it. So I said, all right. So um, I go back in the cell and I go lay down. And I get to reading the Bible. Yes, I was reading the Bible because that's what I like to do. I like to read the Bible, right? Some of you little devils out there need to read the Bible too. It might get your head right. So, um, with that, um, he ended up coming back in the cell. And I jump out. I jump out the cell. I get off my bed, put my Bible down, and I leave out the cell so he can get dressed. So now it's locked down, locked down. Everybody locked down. Inmates locked down. So I go back in the cell. I go brush my teeth, jump back up there, and me and him talking. And, I, and I, um, he was quiet for a second. And I told him, like, hey, I wasn't trying to disrespect you out there. I was just trying to make sure you got in the shower so that way, you know, our cell wouldn't be smelly at night, you know, because I seen the time that was running down, and I knew you probably was caught up in your game, but, you know, we had to take care of that business. And he was like, yeah, I, I, I know, bro. I said, don't pay attention to dude because dude don't like me. Dude just want to see, he just want to see drama. But I know you heard me barking on him out there. He didn't want to come up here and do nothing, right? Don't you try that with him because he probably run up on you because, you know, black dudes for some reason think that they got more power than a white boy in there, which sometimes they do. But I'll be seeing big white boys, beefed up, jacked up white boys, that dudes be bagging down on, black dudes be bagging down on. So don't don't think that every black dude in there is square business. Don't think every black dude in there never bowed out on a white boy. Believe that. I done seen that. I done seen a white boy split a black dude face wide open with one punch. Talk about that. Now, so we um sitting there. I'm sitting there on a bed. And I'm like, all right, so we talking, whatever. He like, yeah, I understand this and that, right? Fast forward to about three three hours later. So I'm laying in the bed. I'm asleep. I hear, ah, 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 ah. I, I, I'm like, man, what the f going on, man? I'm looking for the, I'm looking for the, you know, the you know what? Like, man, what the heck going on? Man, he cut that light on, man. This dude is is covered in them um silverfish. Ah. You know them insect, insect silverfish? Stay out of jail, y'all. Stay out of jail. You got rats roaming. You got mice roaming. Roaches. Bed bugs. Silverfish. Mmm. So he down there being attacked by damn near... 50 to 100 silverfish. These, these little bugs that, oh, oh. I don't even feel like even finishing this dang video, man. But, yeah, um, stay out of jail, y'all. Stay out of jail. I'm going to come out. I'm coming out with that Muslim video next, y'all. So hit that like button. I'm out.